Today I'm in Grenderfjord, Iceland. It is a chilly day, lots of low-hanging clouds. We're gonna explore the port area and then get on a tour. I'll take you along with me. Once again, we have a tendering process. The Azamara Quest came in. It looks like they have gotten a chance to dock but our ship brings the lifeboats over to this little place. Pretty good little meeting spot. Our ship has set up the little tents. There are some picnic tables in the background for people that are kind of hanging out a little bit. And surprisingly, there were several tour vendors set up right here in the area. One, as soon as you walked out, some right across the way. There is the Kirchhoffel Express bus. It's another independent company that's set up right there. This one has their own office in a van. Kind of clever. Other big buses loaded up right here that were from independent tours as well. The ship excursion buses are parked very conveniently located right at the top of the ramp when you get off the tender. There is a map showing the port area and some of the surrounding activities and places of interest as well as food and dining. It's always a good idea to take a picture of these maps that are in town. Then you can refer to that photo when you're walking around town trying to find places. It is not quite time for our own tour to meet up yet, so let's take a closer look around the immediate tender port area. Across the street is the Kirkufell Express bus. It looks much like a city bus and it advertises that it takes guests to the Kirkufell Falls and a view of the Kirkufell Mountain from the falls. The price is 15 euro per person and they did accept credit cards. The bus leaves every 30 minutes, usually on the hour and half hour. Behind the express bus is a motor coach with an advertised tour. This is the shark tour. In addition to a 40 minute tour of the shark museum, this tour promises to stop at some viewpoints, the lava fields, Mount Kirkufell, and Kirkufell's Foss. Foss at the end of a word means waterfall. So anytime you see F-O-S-S -S at the end of the word, expect to see a beautiful waterfall. Looks like an interesting tour. And if we did not already have a tour booked with Bus Travel Iceland, we would have booked this one. Once the bus drove off, I noticed a small souvenir table and tent set up and there were restrooms in the gray building. Before we board our motor coach for the tour, let me take a moment to ask you to please like this video if you're finding it interesting at all. And if you've not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing to my channel. This will help my YouTube channel to grow and it will get my videos out to more people. Thank you. We boarded our motor coach and headed out of the port area and through the town. It is not a very large town, and I'm always interested in the buildings and the homes all around the world. We passed several people who decided to hike to the waterfall, which is doable for the energetic or the frugal, but my energy has its limits and my budget will allow it, so the bus ride seems to be a great option in my opinion. Plus, it could start raining any minute, and I have heard the rain here can blow sideways. That just does not seem appealing. Our first stop is here. You make your own guess at how to pronounce that. If you're coming here on your own, there is a fee to park, and our guide said we have no admission fee and to walk on by. Our guide also said this mountain is the most photographed mountain in Grundefjorder, and she did not know why, as she thinks there are more spectacular mountains. But later she found out it received that designation because most cruise passengers make it no further than here when they come, and they always take a photo. Just looking at all of the people who have arrived at the same time as we makes that explanation make a lot of sense. And walking to the side of the falls with the mountain in the background does make a lovely photo. From the falls, we drove through another town on our way to the Snellsfusness Peninsula. I love saying Snellsfusness. And our guide pointed out the unique architecture of this church along the way. As we enter the National Park at the Snellsfusness Peninsula, the roads become narrow, gravel, and bumpy. Motor coaches are generally not made for this kind of terrain, but our driver took it all in stride and did a good job getting us there safely. When we stop, there is a sign with all the hiking paths labeled and another more picturesque sign with some of the hikes labeled. I'm taking the 20 minute walk down to the beach and I am so glad the Icelandic names are also written in English. 
The lava fields have a grass covering near the lot where we parked, but a close-up of the lava fields in the distance really shows the knobby terrain. Many people in our group decide to make this same hike to the beach through this extraterrestrial-looking landscape, and I get in line to join them. Here is a close-up of what the trail looks like where it begins, and our final destination in the distance ahead. The path is a little bit precarious, but it sure is a neat view. There is a natural window made of rock, and lots of people line up to get a photo of the frame, but I trudge on ahead. But as I look back, I can see why people wanted a photo there. Those mountains in the distance create an amazing backdrop through the frame. The path levels off, but it is still a distance to the waterfront. The beach is made of small, black pebble gravel of all sizes. I pan my camera back toward from where we came. There is a lot of metal debris littering the beach. Our guide explains that the debris is from an airplane crash here, and it is intentionally left as a memorial to those who died. Several in our group walked out to the waterfront, but I was content to zoom in from here. I'm already feeling this beach walk in my calves, so heading back from here seemed like a good plan. We load back up on the bus and drive by some more of this otherworldly terrain toward our next stop of the tour, just outside of the National Park to the Arnastapi Village. There are a few restaurants here, as well as hotel accommodations in the form of individual, nondescript, gray buildings. Our guide suggested we use the restrooms in the Arnastapi Center, even though the sign says that the restrooms are only for paying customers. There are at least three restaurants here, and we made our way across the street from the parking lot and upon the recommendation of our guide, entered the cafe on our left to enjoy a slice of cake. Hubby ordered the chocolate cake with powdered sugar sprinkled on top. I got the lemon cake, which is what I would call cheesecake. Mm. That's good. We have enough time to explore a bit and get a closer look at the interesting structure ahead. The sign says this is the guardian spirit of the Snailsfisness Peninsula, a mythical figure, a man and giant, a mortal who never died. He does look like a man giant guarding the coastline and watching out to protect the village behind. We loaded the buses again, refreshed from our restroom break, cake break, and walking break in the brisk air. All along the way, we see horses and sheep in the distance, and I kept trying to get a close-up photo. I did capture a couple. Here is a sheep by the side of the road, and those white dots on the mountainside are horses. I was able to snap a quick photo of some people on a tourist horse ride as we passed them. Our final stop on the tour was to the black church, the Buddha Kirkja. In Norway, we heard Kirk, K-I-R-K, for church, and Kirkja is very similar here in Icelandic. The church was not open to tour the inside, but the informational sign indicates that it is still in use today. The stone wall has grass growing on top, and it surrounds a graveyard. We settle back in our seats for the drive back to our tender dock and pass the Kirkjafell Mountain, and I get a view of the homes and the businesses from this side of the street as we head back into town. Once back at the Grunderfjordr tender dock area, most everyone heads back to the tender boat to return to the ship, while I pan around to just soak it all in one more time. This is Shirley with Shirley's Journeys, and I hope all of your journeys are pleasant ones. Yeah.